gonna be so many fetish people watching this and just they're gonna be lighting up the comments on this video. This is good. Comment below what you think of this video in three words. <laughs> Only three words. And whoever use. has the best three word comment, get I will chocolate. give them a shout out on my Instagram. Oh, <laughs> I was like, get some chocolate. Get some chocolate, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. I'm here on the garden island of Hawaii called Kauai. And one of my goals while here is to connect with farmers who are growing incredible gardens. You might call them food forests. And so far, I showed you guys the Aloha Honeybee Farm. Epic food tour. The link to see that garden is down below. But I found another one that specializes in superfoods and has a wide variety of superfoods, super fruits, including cacao, including herbs, including medicinal plants and medicinal foods. And the person who manages this garden is here today, Jen Jubilee. You can find all her information down below. We're gonna try to find her. I don't know where she's at because this is literally a jungle all around me. Let's see if we can go find Jen. Hit the like button for me on this vid. Subscribe to my channel for future tours like this. Hit the bell button to turn on the post notifications. And let's go see if we can find Jen Jubilee here and have her give us an incredible tour of this medicinal superfood jungle. Hey, Jen. Oh, aloha. Aloha. <laughs> what have you got there? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We had the cacao tree. Uh, this one happens to be a Trinitario cacao. Whoa. And I'm just looking at a ripe pod here. The rest of these are um, growing and maturing. But this pod is ripe because of the color. Um, it has this uh, orangey color in the flesh when you know when it's ripe. Wow, those look cool, epic. Huh? Yeah, there's a lot of them on here. I was just checking this out. And then I was also checking out too. Um, let's get to the inside of this tree. I can pretty uh, much I can pretty much promise you that 99% of people in the world would never know what cacao or chocolate looks like on the tree. Oh, yeah. Don't I you mean, agree? I would totally agree. I mean, cuz usually we get it in the bar bar shaped form, you know, after it's been processed and, mm -hmm. and things like that. But I mean, check out this pot. It, it's, it's gorgeous. And in here, there's about, um, 20 to 30, 30 seeds in there. And we'll be able wow. to look at that later. Yeah. And there's just the black chocolate beans inside there or other stuff you can eat too. Um, there's other stuff that you can eat in there too, but we're going to check that out later. People got to keep watching. Gonna, yeah. You got to keep <laughs> watching this video. Um, but what I'm doing right now is, um, we're gonna do a harvest collection of uh, the ripe cacao pods. Wow. And uh, what I'm doing is just um, cutting off. So you gotta use those pruners to cut off so that you don't um, tear or rip the bark on the tree. But this, um, these, these flower and uh, majority of the pods will turn black like this. 
and you just you know trim them off and give them back to the plant for like as mulch as mulch exactly and that what gives more energy to the pods that made it gives more energy to the pods that made it cool. gosh these are big these are really nice ones Jen, this tree has like 50 or more <laughs> cacao pods on it, no joke. Yes, and, and I was just about to t say, like um, you can get 40 to 60 or so um, twice a year on a tree. And uh, yeah, this one definitely has choke, uh, has a lot of, lot of pods. I see another ripe one over here too that we're gonna check out because we're gonna actually, we'll clip these. I'll show you how I clip them. Um, look how big this guy is. Oh, and then if you check mulch, we also have old um cacao pods from the last harvest this when i see this it shows me that you are spoiled as all hell in hawaii, in kawaii here because you're using cacao pods as mulch yeah we're using cacao pods as mulch you know it's just like you are yay. so spoiled oh my god i remember <clears throat> using cacao beans as mulch right you could yeah they were, um like the the outside of the cacao bean the shell so after you roast them and we'll talk about that a little bit more later i'll explain that how about that great so you're going to show us uh, maybe some more things besides just cacao but you're also going to yes. show us what it looks like on the inside and how to make it delicious yes absolutely we put an orchid in here um you can see this one's all in season wow it looks beautiful yeah it's all in bloom so um, this is just a companion plant growing companion plant yeah they love little orchids uh majority of our trees will have um vanilla growing in them vanilla vines and i'll show you some of our trees that have that as well you're growing vanilla with the cacao all in the same place yes all in the same place wow they um love each other they are definitely companions um kind of a marriage made made in two chocolate and vanilla you know kind of like the twist cone that's awesome <laughs> Love it. Um, you might need an assistant to help hold all this fruit. I may need an assistant here um, that has a really huge bag that we can put all these in. We're going to do a small harvest today. Um, so the uh, cacao, um, what are you going to call them? The cacao fruit uh, or nut. Fruit. Nut. Yes, the beans actually, yeah, are, would, be your, would be your nut um, or nut seed group. There is fruit inside of here, a fruit pulp, which I said we'll look at later. But um, did you get a close-up of this? How beautiful this one is? I did. This one, so this beautiful. actually, we have over, um, is it 25 or 27 varieties on just this farm from around the world. And before we, you tell us, where are we? Like, are we on north, south, east, west, Kauai, oh, or yes, what? Oh, yes, we are on the um, north shore, the northeast side of um more the east side of uh, Kauai. So you guys get a lot of rain. We get a lot of rain. So there's about 25, um, 27 different uh, variety strains on this property here that we have. And um, they're amazing, but there are four different main types um, of cacao, okay? Would you like to know what they are? Yes. Okay, the first one is the um, Criollo. It's very good tasting, it's so the flavor is very well. And then there is the Forestero. And Forestero is more like a um, rounded, smooth type. So what they did to make this third type is um, they took Criollo and the Forestero together and they made the um, Trinitario. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and that's what this one is. It'd be the Trinitario cacao. Want to show you a little thing. How do you know when a cacao pot is ripe? Do you know? No. Okay. Well, what you do is you just take your finger and you strike it a little bit like this. Can you see that? That it's got like that yellow golden um, ticket structure to it. I see it. <laughs> that means it's ripe. If it would be green, Let's, mm. let's do one of these right here. We know that this one isn't ready just because of the coloring um, on the outside, but the inside has that green. I see. That would be an unripe one. The fourth kind is um, the National. And mm. that's usually what you see in most majority, um, or see, that's what's in majority of the chocolate out there. That's like the Ecuadorian type, mm. and they're the smaller um, tree bushes usually, is my understanding but we do not have that on the on the property. We have the other three and then we have the combination. So today yeah. you're our leader, but you need an assistant. I need an assistant because we're gonna collect, like I said, we're gonna do a small harvest. So I'm looking for um, my assistant to put this in. Oh, thanks, Nicole. So we're gonna put this in our bag here. We'll probably fill this 
maybe half full today and get a really nice um, good harvest. And mm. then again, I'm taking the pruning shears and just cutting them off and nice. making sure that there's a nice clean cut on here with the tree. And Nicole's that got the an... awesome bag. Thank you yeah, again for collecting that. These are really heavy, by the way. So I'm going to say we're going to get some really good uh, beans and pulpy juice nectar from these. be the rounder one this will be the forestero look how beautiful that is beautiful so again these aren't ripe so circular compared so to the circular. other circular, yeah and smooth yes mm -hmm. okay then we go to the criollo uh that is more bumpy you know and it's got the tip it's got the pointed tip and then um this is our favorite this is again the starburst where that's what we're doing a little bit more of is like I said, grafting um, the best varieties that we have here on the farm that have the best tasting beans that yield a high quality um, and quantity fruit. Um, We've got three different bean. types of cacao right here in this one shot. Yeah, isn't that great? Amazing. And when do you get that? Never. <laughs> um, and then this would be the Trinitario uh, selection. So, yeah. This tree is loaded and it looks it's like loaded. the cacao always grow the fruit low within picking distance as if it's trying to be picked. It's saying, hey, pick me, eat me, I'm the best ever. <laughs> True.
are walking along here and Jen says that we can't eat this raw, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, it's so tender. It's super tender, And so right? delicate, yeah, oh my and God. And delicate, and how's that feel in your mouth? I mean, Perfect. as far as like, like and, and what's the taste like? What's it taste like? I mean, spinach. Like spinach, I know. But it feels like, uh, like a butter lettuce or something like that, like a very delicate lettuce. A delicate lettuce, right. It still has a little bit of a crisp. I just heard you uh, crunch into that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's definitely palatable and and um, makes a really good addition to your greens. Can you hold that one for me? Yeah, you, you gave me a dessert also. Oh, what do we have there? Suriname cherry. Oh my delight. <laughs> one of my favorites. Super yum. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. So uh, peppery and explosive. Right? Mm. Thank you, I love it. Super, yeah, you bet. They're so beautiful. How are you gonna eat all this? This is so much chocolate. I'm pretty sure um, each one creates a chocolate bar. So, wow. so yeah. this is a chocolate bar. Yeah. And this is a chocolate bar. Yeah. And even this is a chocolate bar. That one plus maybe another one might be a chocolate bar. But, but it has even more than that because we have right. fruit on here that nobody's seen before yes. for the most part if they're in the mainland. All right, we are going to process these cacao pods and we are going to make some awesome, awesome cacao juice. I can't, I'm so excited for this. Are you excited for this? I can't even right now. Okay, all right. Well, why don't you show everybody um, what this cacao pod looks like inside? For just um, aesthetics, yes. should I do it this way or this way? How do you think? Okay, so we're going to go this way through it. Let's go the, okay. the width. And not all the way through, right? Because I don't want to damage the... You don't want to damage, so you just do a little bit and keep turning it around because we have a thickness about like this or so, so you don't want to um, penetrate uh, the insides, yes? Yep. Okay, that's perfect. And then just gently pull apart because you're going to want to see this amazing, amazing... Oh my gosh, is that pretty? That one's really beautiful. What? It's super white and gorgeous. Sometimes they have a little bit of like, some parts are ripened faster than other parts. This one's perfect. That one's like perfect. It's like wow. a rattlesnake tail almost. <laughs> like I'm from Arizona where the desert, we have the rattlesnake. So, wow, can you smell that? That aroma? Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't smell like chocolate. No, it doesn't. It just Not smells fruit. like. Not yet. I mean, I can't even describe what it smells like. What does it smell like? I mean, like a flower, like sweet flower. Got a little bit of a tart. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so would you like to pull that out? We're gonna put this sure. into our nut milk bag. A nut milk bag or a cheesecloth we use. This we're going to be straining the juices off of the chocolate bean or the cacao bean. I can't. Uh, just give it a yank. Off in one piece. That's okay. This way. How about it's I still cheat a little bit just for you the sake could. of? It's all good. Showing the audience out there. Look at that. There. Oh, oh. my. Gracious, is that gorgeous? There we go. That's just gorgeous. Look at this. So that's our that's our guy there. You want to pull the beans off of. So you're gonna take it and give it a nice little um, uh -huh. stroke through there, mm -hmm. and then okay. put the beans will fall through here. If we went on to the streets of Los Angeles, streets of New York, yeah, and we went by a thousand people and asked them, "What is that?" <laughs> oh my gosh! Would anybody be able to do it? I don't know. I bet you one in a million could only do it. I don't think, you know, unless they already saw like a video on this or like it, it do this, you know, work with cacao pods themselves, like you wouldn't know. You'd be looking at this for like, what is Which this? Which is scary. It's one of the most highly I'm consumed scared. foods on the planet and nobody knows Anything what it is else? or where it comes from. People are so separated from their food. They're separated from their food. Totally. Well, let's get connected. Okay, let's get let's, connected. Let's put this through. Okay. Okay. So we've got oh. the beans being dislodged from, we like to call it the uh, umbilical cord. And I, actually- I just ate a, ca a cacao umbilical cord? Yeah, you could eat it raw, or we like to dry them and dip them in chocolate. Mm. And so we can put them separate, or you can just eat that if you'd like to, Jake. I mean- oh, I'm sorry. No, it's amazing. I couldn't control myself. No, okay. it's okay. <laughs> I wanna see um, how maybe you could do this another way. Um, do you mean to kung fu chop it? Yes, this is like what I'm Iron thinking. I'm thinking this is Jake Mace here we have, <laughs> and I'm thinking I want to see some action. So I'm not gonna break the counter, am I? Is no, like this hall they've done me? they've done this on here. I'm thinking that it's, it's gonna be okay. Let's move the knife just out of the way. I'm supposed to be like a kung fu guy who does a lot of iron palm and things like that. Okay, so well let's do this. Yeah, I don't know. Ready? Ready? Ooh. Yes. Got it. One move. Look Ooh, at how clean. beautiful that is. <laughs>
Cool. All right, just the beans, and we'll keep that umbilical cord because we're going to keep that for a nice, delicious little snack. Look at all that juice. So that is the fruit pulp. Whoa. Okay, so we have filled these bags up with fresh <laughs> cacao. Can the camera see in there? Look at this. Ooh. I don't know if we can zoom in from afar and I can see like this is incredible stuff right there. Yeah, and show mine. <laughs> Yours looks better. All right. Okay, let's get these things tied up. Wait, Tighten them. But I do want to show one thing before we start. Yeah. Just to prove to folks that are skeptics out there that are watching, like oh. that this is actually chocolate. Like watch. Yes. Inside, like that's the cacao bean. I don't know if the camera can get that close, but what? What color is it? Let me do one. Like a purplish, blackish, brownish kind of. Just to prove that mine is not. There we so go. So that's, that's the color purple. of chocolate. If you can hold yeah. that still. They're purple. Look at that color. Isn't that like anthocyanins in there? The mm -hmm. antioxidant, the purple color. Yes, correct. Amazing. Wow. Gosh, that's so good, raw, isn't it? This morning. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Hello. Yum. What do we do? Here we go. Okay, so let's tie these tight. We're gonna juice these up. Okay? Okay. So when I do it tight, you just get in there. Oh my god. And then you just like <laughs> juice this baby. This is like ASMR. Look at that. Wow. Pure Nicao Nicao. <laughs> That's Nicole. Nicole. I know. But I was saying like cacao nectar mm -hmm. or juice. Just amazing, so we're getting all of that pulp juice. I'm gonna pulp ASMR part. mine, so we're gonna like a really quiet, let's hear the sound of this juice happening. so many fetish people watching this and just they're gonna be lighting up the comments on this video this is good comment below what you think of this video in three words <laughs> only three words and whoever use. has the best three word comment get i will give them a shout out on my instagram oh <laughs> i was like get some chocolate get some chocolate yeah <laughs> okay so what we're gonna do is <clears throat> i'm gonna take my beans out okay okay Gosh, this bag feels amazing. I'm just gonna probably have to like take this one <laughs> and put it over here. Should I add to it? Um, yes, please. Okay. So, what I'll do with this, the process that we normally do is you add um, a uh, yeast to this, like a wine yeast really? for a fermentation process. Like a scoby You get almost. a different, yeah, and you get a different, um, it's a powder and you get a different um, flavor uh, to the beans. Isn't this amazing? I, mm -hmm. You cheated, I can't believe it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, you do that. What I'm doing right now is I'm either putting this in the sun, okay, mm. to like, um, uh, dry the mm -hmm. drying process or in the dehydrator. It depends on the weather right now here mm. in Kauai So are we ready for some cacao juice shots? Yes, let's do this. Here's your nectar. All right. Thank you Hey, if you guys want to see an epic food forest garden tour I did with this young man over here. Aloha honeybee. It's on my channel down below and uh, Part three. It's a three-part series. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now we're doing yeah, your epic do. food forest Yes, thank you so much. What you, a day. Why didn't you offer us cacao juice at Aloha Honeybee headquarters? With the farm only being four <laughs> years old, I'm waiting to plant the cacao. I'm waiting until I got um, a little bit of overstory mm. protection. Let's get these yeah. all even, yeah. A little bit extra for me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Everybody gets their amazing shot. Are we ready for this? Jen, you had like hundreds of cacao trees today that had dozens and dozens of pods and we couldn't even cover because we, we been couldn't even cover them all we would have been it's amazing there's a lot but let's taste what we have here hold that one yeah <laughs> hold it can we can we all reach out and extend for cheers. sure cheers 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 thank you Riamba. I'm gonna just come right off the bat and say it's really sour soppish. It is sour soppish. But slightly different. 
it's thick, it's real thick. Is this like medicine? There can be like a ceremony attached to this, it seems. Mm -hmm. Like people could almost turn this into like a religion or something, like the body and the blood of the cacao. Absolutely. Cult followings. Oh, for sure. Well, thank you guys for watching mm -hmm. this epic video. You can follow both these fine people on Instagram. And uh, Instagram again, you are? Jen Jubilee. Aloha Honeybee. And definitely go down there and follow <laughs> <sounds fun>. <laughs> Nicolistic, Holistic Nicole on Instagram. Let's see her take the shot and see what she thinks this tastes like. All right, Nicole, are you ready to have some of this cacao yes, I'm nectar? So I'm carrying that bag all day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Cheers, you. my love. Thanks. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got a little stash. You had the cacao nectar stash. It was the most beautiful thing ever. Oh. Oh. Wow, this is so good. This is delicious. You don't want to drink it all? <laughs> We're saving it. <laughs> That's why I take it really slow and mm -hmm. I kind of just like swoosh it in my mouth, get that nice mm. flavors of everything mm -hmm. in there. So good. Mm. Let's do wow. it again. Cheers. Bam. <laughs> Thank you.